by a Jefferson Parish deputy who chased him into this newspaper warehouse only two blocks away from where he lived. Sheriff Newell Norman said deputies were called to Ford Street and Cleary Avenue in Metairie after reports of two men rolling tires down the street. And this is what we're called upon to do every day. Truck rims, people. Truck rims. Norman says Devon Martez leveled a gun at his deputy and pulled the trigger. That's when Deputy Dave Dalton shot and killed Martez. Devon Martez pulled the trigger on the gun and tried to kill one of my officers. But for the fact that the gun malfunctioned, I might have a dead officer. Martez's father, Glenn Parker, spoke to us off camera, saying he knows his son was wrong, and he doesn't blame the deputy for doing what he did, because his life was in danger. And I appreciate that statement. Um, it's one of the most honest statements that I've heard in a long, long time, and it's probably a very tough statement for that father to say that, because he lost his son. Investigators say Martez was shot six times. His mother, Alicia Martez, said after the first shot, the deputy should have stopped shooting. Don't refer to him as the victim. He was going to act out to be a cold-blooded killer. Sheriff Norman detailed Martez's criminal record, which started at the age of 10, with arrests for shoplifting, distributing drugs, and attempted armed robbery. However, his father says Martez was not a bad person, but misled and on the streets with the wrong people, picking up bad habits. He was one of 11 children, the youngest of six brothers. They don't know who he was with Tuesday night, but say Martez does not have a car and had no reason to steal rims.